Howdy there YouTube, my name is Mimitri and today I am playing The Walking Dead and um, I'm so excited to be able to do this and um, well without further ado and without further stalling let's play the game. I'm gonna go with standard. Let's do this. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Telltale Games presents... In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Blum, blum, blum. Episode 1, A New Day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This Fucking other- <laughs> Yeah. 
it. Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Does he look all right? Holy crap, why would he ask that? Why the hell did he have his gun out? I need to... Drag myself out that window. All right. <laughs> The shotgun is over there. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Like, I've had a stiff leg before and never had a broken one. Can I... Looks empty. So I can't put... Okay. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Alright, alright, alright. I get it. We'll get the cuffs off. Officer? Officer? God damn. You said it. Officer? God damn. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, really? Shit. Oh, no. Are you dead? Oh gosh, dang. Wait a minute. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh. 
on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta go, we gotta go. We move just as fast as they do, we gotta go. <laughs> No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. I'm gonna try to look at everything. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> Screaming about their zombies. Anybody up there? No. All right. I wonder if anybody's home. Tap on the glass, it scares the zombies. <laughs> Hello? There's something going on. Really? I never would have guessed. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Alright. Uh I set it up so I can actually see how long I've been recording. Should have done that to begin with. <laughs> Rainbow? It's the unicorn! Come on. Uh. <sighs> Jesus. No, that's not Jesus. That's blood. <coughs> Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Oh. Cans. More cans. <gasps> and yet again, some more cans. Find random liquid in the house. <sighs> Drink it whenever you can. 
That's why I learned from video games. What's that beeping? All right, all right. I'll go check out what the beeping is. Now, don't fall again, okay? All right, you got this. Uh, Maybe there's something on there. Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. And they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, I don't know what buttons are. Oh, ew, my head. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. 
Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Run off without me, the grown adult that um uh, obviously can't move fast right now. Ooh, do a little dig, do a little dig, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, oh man, I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. All right. <laughs> What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I'm fine. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Just I'll some be, guy. I'll be honest. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I might as well what be do you want to do? There's zombies all around, you know? The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Again, again. Come on, come on. That's the girl pulling the time. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Oh, she has under his hand. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. 
Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, Aww. looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Uh, we're safe. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh, How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Um. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I said I'm just I didn't catch your Why name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. That's a thing? Oh, look at her. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> hey. All right. We got to safety and everything's fine. Me and Clem are going to be awesome. 
And so I'm going to leave that episode here. Um, so uh, if you liked it, subscribe. If not, oh well, come back another time. See ya!